Ahoy, yep. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Oh, yes, sir, my dear Lieutenant Drakeel at your service. And welcome back to Whispering Willows where, well, yesterday we got started on this game. Oh, hello. Uh, wait, what? Yep, up. Oh, okay, I think I see what's going on. This is the save from the showcase. This is the save from... <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, yesterday we got started on this game and well, let's just say that the story behind the, the background story of this uh, 
is uh, more than awful. Yeah, but also makes sense why there's so much hauntings around here. Actually, I, like, I take my hands off my mouth for now. <laughs> yes, that's how I made that sound effect. I just held both my hands in front of me. Yeah. Hello, you're new. Reginald Kingsley. The evening's oh. feast is soon to be served. So please do wait. Master Willows will be along promptly. I'm pretty uh, sure he's being blasted with a shotgun. That or a... Actually, maybe more, more would be missed if he be shot by a blunderbuss. <laughs> but yeah, we're playing as Elena here, who is looking for her dad, for who she believes to be in this abandoned mansion here, where her father used to work. And, well, uh, we see dead people. <laughs> so many, many, many dead people. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, there's also some really bad mojo going on around here. Yeah. Okay, that's locked. Mm, yeah. I, I, I have think, mixed mm -hmm. opinions on this uh, architecture. No. I, I like these wooden frames a lot. Just the tapestry, or uh, you know the the things on the wall. Yeah. They, sometimes I do like them, and sometimes I just hate them. Like if they are overly cluttered or just lazily stripes. Mm, yeah. But. Uh, do, you, do you mean on the walls themselves or the more decoration? Uh, yeah. Because the wallpaper, the not... wallpaper, yeah, wallpaper, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tapestries are a bit more selective. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's um. see. Number eleven from Worthless Wortham. I've been through the pages of every book I could find. I've performed the ancient rites and con uh, conducted the appropriate sacrifices. I have uttered the words and prostrated myself to unknown old gods whose names have been lost to time. I can feel the floodgates tremble at my approach, but I, I cannot see them yet. I must find them and break free their chains. Only then shall I bathe in the nether and be free to once again see Martha. I must commit myself more wholly to uh, this than anything else, even life itself. Yeah. I'm not the idiot! These aren't books. What a st strange selection of items to be in a bookcase. Yeah, bone, what that happens when skull... Have an or an oh, oh, hello! Dad, don't worry, I'm here to save you. I think there's something more in the room. Uh, the sounds... Uh, uh, uh. Elena, please no. There he is, the fucker himself. Foolish girl, he's mine now. Fuck. Chapter 4, Wortham's Woes. Is this really it? It hurts so much. Is this, is this it after all I've done? No. No, I can't give up. I can't stop. I won't accept this as the end. I have to do it. I have to save my dad. If not me, then who? I'm the only one who can help. I'm not just gonna give up. I'm, I'm surprised she can even stand. It's like she got thrown out like the third story window or something. Wortham must have drained my amulet during the fight. I can't use any of my powers. I wouldn't call that much of a fight, but... <laughs> okay. I don't care, though. I'm not afraid. I will succeed. I have to. There's Why something in the mud down here. I think it's more of a... Oop, telescope filter. 
I think it's more the fact that everything is looking blue with the rain. Beyond the pale. I was beaten. I failed. This is something I have to accept. Wortham drained my amulets, and now I can't use anything that Flying Hawk taught me. I feel so powerless to help, but I can't give up now. That was so close. I saw him. I could almost reach him. If only was I was a little stronger. No, I reject that. I refuse to give up. Not now, not ever. I'm coming to get you, Dad. Worth and better watch out. My telescope filter. Hold on, we know where we could maybe use that or fit that into place. Uh, let's see. I believe the observatory was in the garden here. It just told or... me. No, it must not. Hmm? I was wondering why was he having a such an observatory? For it, it, it's not really the usual rich man thing you see to be there, unless they're actually a stargazer. Yeah, but so, where do a lot of Eldritch gods supposedly sh shelter? In the stars, or at least he's looking for the certain alignment, like. Have you heard the term, when the stars align? Yeah. Let's see. I think we need to find... Oh, what? Uh... Oh, I see. We need... I think we need to copy the... Uh... I think we need to copy this. Okay, I would, yeah. that was already standing out. Let's see. Like a an unfinished paperclip? Uh, nope. Um. Not that. What the heck is the other painting up there? I think it's supposed to be... a star chart or something from a certain... from somewhere. Yeah, the other one is a star shot. The other one looks and, weird. Yeah, I think I think this is the same one over here, right next to Elena. I th I think yeah. that's supposed to be like images of the night sky from a certain point, like a sort of star chart or sky chart more. Uh, hello. Uh -huh. That's the solitary crate. What could it be for? Uh. Okay, we're lucky that this isn't too hot. <laughs> if that was full on steam, that would have scalded. And well. Yeah. Hmm, there's going to be something with that symbol. Oh. oh, those stupid things are here. Yeah. Also, before I forget, I, I learned something recently. Mm -hmm. You know what I told you about Sahara actually means Great Desert? Yeah. According to the Great Sahara Desert is kind of redundant. Yeah. Hmm. Apparently, the same in Galaxy or Milky Way. Apparently, if I remember right, Galaxy means Milky Way. Hmm. So, yeah, Milky Way Galaxy. Might be, if I understood oh. right. Okay, I like, saw it there. Uh, Wait, we can it's, see them. Th it's on the ceiling. Oh. I th I think the steam is supposed to make them visible. Yeah, see, it becomes visible oh. when it's near there. Hmm. But does that mean that? You just oop. Hmm. When do we pass by it then? Okay. I like I like this. Like we know that they have a physical effect on things because they could move those cages and such. But this also means that they yeah, they move or they disturb smoke and such. Yeah. And what have we here? Which means there are not 
they are not ghosts themselves, they are actually... Yeah, physical, if invisible. Yeah. Let's see. Cosmic horror. Uh... I'm unsure what I have done. It feels as though portions of my being have been ripped from me and recast as dark, shadowy demons. They roam the grounds and I can feel their presence and see them as they scurry about like so many roaches. I do, I do not think that anyone else can see them, as I am the only one who has flirted with the other sides, and I have not come back unscathed. They have done what I can to bind and confine them, but I do not know how well that it will work. I have seen things most men dare not, and I hold that clandestine knowledge all desire and eh, and I hold that clandestine knowledge all desire, life immortal. I do not yet have the means of enacting this longevity, but I know a way. Yeah, it seems that even his love for his wife was cast aside along the way, it seems. Uh, everything and everyone is but a sacrifice for him. It's not all arrogant, but he wasn't outright horrible. Like he, but once his wife died, things started to go downhill. And Rapidly. it seems it just kept falling. And the clear thing is, he did not fall to madness or anything like that. He is still thinking mostly clearly throughout all of this, or all of those years. Yeah. Mm. I wish I knew how to play ma musical instruments. Maybe someday I'll learn. One, sm one small complaint I would have about this game is that that text goes by so fast. Yeah. Do okay, maybe it's too early for it, but I do hope the developers who made this game have made more. We can definitely look that up after we're done. Uh, is that supposed to be Sherlock? Or very similar no. to the rest. That is the brother, Gorlock. You. A coat rack. Shouldn't leave that jet. Wait, did we? Oh, we got back into the house. Okay, we've... We've been in most of these places. Not hmm. Actually, they almost look primordial. It kind of makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. It almost looks like a shrunk oh, nope. sea scorpions with extended legs. Oh, we, there's a few of John we need to find still. Hmm. Okay, so this is. Okay, I'm a bit confused now if we have been here or not, because we're finding notes that we didn't see before. I made it to the mansion's core. I don't know what I expected to find, because all that was there was an empty room like the scores of others. I feel uncomfortable there, but other than that, I don't think it's special in any way. <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> uh, this pit still lingers in my stomach, though. It's a foreboding feeling that reminds me of some imagined looming punishment. I spent as much time in the room as I could, looking for clues to what I was feeling. But there was nothing. Now I don't even know whether to abandon my search or not. I don't know. I feel so hopeless all of a sudden. I just want to see my family. Okay, what happened to you? Were you just lured over by Wortham? Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's keep going as if this is all new territory. I think it is. And that, that, then, oh, hello. Weapon chemical creature, what? I know what these demons are now. They're pieces of Wortham's corrupt soul and they have minds of their own. He delved into areas he should not have. He saw knowledge not meant for man's mind. What resulted is his fractured soul and these, his most beloved children. I have to be careful around them. They act like Wortham's guard dogs, and I can't let them catch me. They'd rip me to shred if they did. Oh. No shreds. Hello. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely new territory. I was just confused because she said that line about with the coat rack before. Number nine of nine. I don't know what's going on anymore. I've been losing portions of my days here at the mansion, and I don't know why. I feel at times like I'm being followed, and I hear whispers in my ear, but when I look, no one's there. The other day, I find myself inside the catacombs, staring at the door. I couldn't remember how I'd gotten there. The last thing I remember doing before that was trimming some hedges. I woke up here this morning. I'm not sure if I even made it home, but I must have. 
My memory is so hazy, but I need to make sure to call home. I have to talk to my family. I don't know why, but I just have to. Yeah, Wortham is working on possessing him. A knight in shining army needs his weapon. Wait, a knight is his what now? Needs his armor. weapon. You said army. <laughs> uh, let's continue looking this way. I think we'll probably have to go back down. Mm, and probably find a look in the other area. That was just for the staircase. No. Okay. Hmm. I think it was just random that? noises. Yeah, that was just a random thunderclap or something. Okay, we're going to need to find a solution for that weight. That rifle? Could it be... That it needs to be pointed in the same way? Or... I think it's probably like this telescope here. Yep, okay. And then the, <laughs> the other one needs to be pointed in the same direction as the rifle. This one needs to point down. Okay. Or, oh, hold on. The picture's upside down. Yep. So. There. There we go. And something clawed out. This maze is so heavy. How did anyone manage to swing it? Yeah, something tried to claw its way out there. Hmm. And why was the maze in there? Okay. And about roughly match that, and there we go. <laughs> night lights. Solve the night puzzle. Oh. I don't like the night armors, do they? I'm missing the kneecaps. The time has come. I have prepared my estate to survive when I am gone, and so it shall. For generations to come, all locals will know my name. I am the founder of this town, and I am not done with it yet. Immortality is within my grasp. I have simply to reach out and take it. After that, time will mean nothing to me as I continue to search within the ether for a way to see my Martha. In the end, I shall get what I desire. I always do. All I need now is a suitable host. In my youth, I aim to wipe out the Quanto, uh, the Quantaco, but I am happy to say I failed in my endeavors. One day, a descendant of that foolish shaman shall happen upon these grounds. When that day comes, I will know my salvation. I shall be the spider and he the fly. I will wring from him the power in his blood and absorb the, what I will. My time will come soon enough. I am beyond the loss of this mortal coil and neither man nor woman will stop me. Yeah. Yeah, his arrogance has been growing. If I was rich, I'd have a statue of me in my house too. Okay. And this leads back to... Okay, back to the front part of the mansion, I'm guessing. Okay, there is that. But we need something to combat Wortham. I get the feeling there's going to be a bad ending and a good ending. And I want to explore a bit more... Because there's one area yeah. over here that we didn't look at. Or yeah, I would prefer all the way a good around. ending. Also, hmm. I don't think I would judge someone... Probably a statue of themselves, but depending on what pose it is in. But if they had, for some reason, like 20, 20 30, 50 statues of themselves. Um, Hello. At number I'm seven. Concerned. I went deeper into the mansion to find the source of this mysterious power that's been calling to me. I wanted to ignore it, but I just can. It's on my mind even when I sleep. I've been having difficulty making my way through the mansion. There are so many doors that are locked or just plain blocked off. There's even a place where the ceiling collapsed. 
I've looked into it, but no blueprints of the building exist in the public records. I know I'll find my way, it's just going to take some time. I feel it in my gut. Okay, and these things keep making noise even yeah, when they all, the game is paused. Of water. Mm. Okay, that one went by. And okay, I guess yeah, I can see I, I, why... I got rather lucky what? with the first one. Yeah. Because I didn't know where it was. Uh, mm. From what I can see so far, I can see why they took shape of something spider-like. Yeah. For he, he seems to woven a lot of web of lies. Definitely lies, deception, and just betrayal. Okay, yeah, back do, down. Do wonder... Oh. I have to look oh, this hello. Up. That was all there. Okay. There's something here. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. It's like nothing I've ever felt. It causes a pit in my stomach. I can feel its presence. There's a certain magnetism to it that draws me in. I don't know where it is or where it comes from. I only know that it's deep inside the mansion. I'm going to try to find it. I can't shake the feeling that there's some profound truth lying at the bottom of it all. And that I'm here for a reason. The question of what it is will burn inside me forever if I don't find out. Okay, and only... No, actually, how many? One, two, three, four, five... Okay, we got all of those, all of those, all of those... And all of those, it seems. Okay. Then either we're going to find notes of someone else wait, entirely... Wait, wait. Hmm? I think we're missing one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 8, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this, that should be all of them so far. Oh, I, I only missed all of them, I yep. guess. Okay, at least we but got this thing already. Thing. <laughs> okay, will be a bit of a walk to get back, but I will. Hmm. Then what do we do? Do we just go right back to him and try to kick his spectral ass? Didn't go well last time. Hmm. Right, hmm. I was to say, I have to look this up, but I think I know what he got in contact with. Yeah, Cthulhu or some other elder thing. I think I may got in contact with the Dreamlands. Okay. Again, I, we have to look this up. Yeah, this thing is like a spider that you can hear but can't find. Okay, I oh, think no, no. Oh, there's some stuck in my head again. <laughs> Which? Uh, by aviator, uh, can you hear it? Uh, it aviators? Called. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's some based on the no uh, Love Drop novel of uh, the rats in the walls. Okay. Now, let's head on over here. Hmm. Okay, do we just go right back into it? Or is there something else that's now available? Oop. The other side. This is it. Worth the my data on the other side of this door. I can feel it. But I'm done being scared. Now is the time for strength. My dad needs me and I'm not going to let him down this time. I don't care what I have to go through. He's my father and I won't let anyone take him away from me, no matter what. Wortham, I hope you are as ready for me as I am for you. It would be a bad thing to hope because, well... <laughs> you made it back, without your amulet even. But you are too late. You cannot stop me. I don't care what you say. I'll save my dad no matter what. 
foolish child, I shall feed you a taste of my misery. See the past and know my pain. And the pain you inflicted upon yourself. Hello. You don't understand. She meant everything to me. She was the mother of my son, my life's love. And you, you just remind me of her and how I betray her each moment we're together. Please, Wortham, please, I love you. Don't do this. I can't do it anymore. I won't. I won't disgrace her any longer. Blaming the other one, of course. The fact he had that up there and knew it was there, yeah, he was planning this and probably he had, he probably, you, actually, bloody knife found in the kitchen by the chef, that, that was the knife that he murdered her with. Oh. You don't understand, she meant everything to me, she was the mother of my son, my life's love, uh, what, did she? Did he just trap us in this moment or something? And you're the one who started disgracing her in the first place. Hello? Uh, are we getting ghost right. trick levels or something? Life. Please, Wortham, I, I must tell you something. I'm with child. It's yours, Wortham. We are to have a family together. What? No, no, this can't be. She was pregnant? No. What have I done? Martha only w ever wanted my happiness. We could have had that. What have I done? It doesn't matter. I was doomed from the start. See more of my life's horror. I'll, again, all that you've inflicted upon yourself. I thank you kindly for having me over for drinks, Wortham. We haven't socialized in ages. I time, I'd say. And of course, old friend, it has indeed been too long, and you've been dearly missed. I've watched your troubles grow. Aye, that they have. And I've missed you too, Wortham. We will have to meet more regularly here on out. We certainly will, Darby. One final drink to ease your pain? Yeah, he poisoned him. You're the best friend a man could ask for Wortham. drown or suffocate, he was poisoned. Hmm. It's just repeating through it again and we need to interfere somehow. <laughs> that annoyed him. For God's sake, Darby, you drunk. Show some class, man. Just look at you, the state you're in. I've observed your degradation these past months with distaste. You're right, me friend. You always are. You've, you know, you've been so good to me, and here I've disgraced my, myself. I know well enough the burden I am. Burden, eh? A fine word, that. If I'd known you'd turn out this way, I'd know, know not what to think of anymore. I know I haven't been myself lately. I, I had it planned to take me life this evening while he slept. But your invitation, Wortham, it, it gave me hope, you see. I've not told you, Wortham, but that we go like old, 
She haunts me. It was just dreams starting out, but anymore I see her in the waking hours. It's then I feel the hellfire licking at me haunches. My cooking skin reeks of brimstone, friends. I can hear perdition as it sings to me in the night. Why? Why do I do these things? You didn't have to die. My poor Darby. When did I fall so far from grace? It was that damned shaman or shaman who tricked me with his vile necromancy. Your ancestor. Know what your kind has done to me. Still just blaming no. the others. This is who you've always been, Wortham. You just deny it, so you can place the blame upon others. Is what you say true? You can help me see my wife again? Yes, but your spirit must first be scoured. Are you prepared for this? <laughs> the irony that he started all of this by murdering a quote-unquote pagan, and yet started seeking them out on his own later. Yes, yes, I'm ready. Tell me what to do, medicine man. You must sever your earthly ties. You must let go of your wife's memory. Only then will you be able to see her again. These candles will protect us from the darkness. Candles that he... Candles that he extinguished, I presume. Or did... Was the darkness already in here? You? Oh. Okay, so he did become possessed. I, hmm, he, he was still a terrible person, but... Yeah, they just were drawn to him, and they amplified his evils even further. Okay. Yeah, they, in order, they turned his bad qualities to actually become pure evil, or bad, almost pure evil. It still does not... Relinquish him of the responsibility of his acts. Oh yeah, they he done horrible things. Okay, now what? We need to relight the candles. This bit is timed. Did he become possessed by his wife? Or... Like, she, she is pure red. What happened to her? It might not be the... Heck yeah, spirits in her likeness to invade him. Wortham. Yeah. I'm here, Wortham. Martha! Oh, how I've missed you, my love. Life is too hard without you. How can I continue on? I will be here for you always, Wortham. Now that you know how, you can see me whenever life seems too difficult for you. Live your life right and raise our son well. Goodbye for now, my love. I love you, Martha. Now and forever. You have helped me see things more clearly, Elena. To see the errors of my ways. I only hope it is not too late for me. I shall finally see what the afterlife holds. Goodbye, Elena. And he moves he on. He probably will be, still be punished. Very much so, yeah. Bye, Wortham. May your soul rest in peace. Elena? Dad, you're awake. 
Yeah, what? What's happened? What are you doing here? It's a long story, Dad. But don't worry. I'll tell you all about it on the way home. How long has he been missing? <laughs> Six cents. Beat the game. Okay, so the amulet is still active. Hmm. <laughs> Created by David Logan. Written by Cal Holmquist. Holmquist. Wait. Okay, Sonia Bales. My. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I wasn't expecting to go on for really is <laughs> scarecrow like. I didn't expect this. You know, we'd spend too much time more on this, but it still was a good length, a decent length. Yeah, I do hope we have a backup already ready. Yeah, I have multiple backups. We have Mythargia and Dead Lights. Steve Goldstein as the composer. Voice of Elena, Skylar Davenport. Marketing. I, I like that they made these portraits of uh, some of the uh, staff. <laughs> yeah, it's not the first time I've seen it, but I do like it when they do that. Yeah. Translators for Spanish, Italian. Hmm. Yeah, once this is done, let's look up on Steam. Oh, actually, I can do that right now to see if this team is still active. Polish translation, that's a lot of translators. Hmm. <laughs> Pardon? Let's see. Whispering Willows. Special thanks. Let's see. Developer Nightlight Interactive and publisher Akapura Games. Let's see. Nightlight. Akapura, Moon Creative, RTX, Unity. Oh, Kickstarter supporters. Let's have a look here. Okay, looks like they have a decent amount of games. Oh, hello. Hello. Wait. Oh, I'm Wait, here. Did I click something wrong or something? Huh? Okay. Night Light Interactive. And I oh, the, it, the it, it jumps to it jumps to Akapura Games to the publisher in memory of Darren Fong. Okay, I I don't like it when you click on a developer and it jumps to the publisher instead on Steam. But yeah, Akapura Games, they have released quite a few other games, including let's see, Rain Worlds. I and one. and according to uh, Grime, okay, and apparently both of the Dark Shadows games were also by Akapura. I, I don't remember seeing their name on the loading on on the loading screens when we were starting those up. Okay. Dark Shadow games. And no, the Dark Side Detective games. Oh wait, okay that. Oh yeah, even that it surprises me. Let's so see. We... Wait, but it me... we went from one game to another made by the same group? They're not made by the same group, but published by the same. Right, published. Uh let me see. I'm just I'm just going to do a quick Google to see if that'll give anything more. Night light interactive. Uh, there, need to type the whole thing out before it gets anything. Uh, there, Wikipedia. 
Uh, ta -ta -ta, founded in 2012. Come on. Let's see. History. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, apparently, this is their only game so far. Huh. Though they have. <clears throat> They have uh, teased a new game called Nomad. Okay. Hmm. It's the third studio's first game, Whispering Willows. Entered in the 2013 Ouya Create Jam. Most immersive. Okay, so they haven't released a game in 10 years. Okay. Hmm. I can, I can only guess that they will... Uh... I don't think it's like a broken record at this moment. Like uh, the pandemic probably slowed it down. Yeah, even yeah, probably. But there were still seven years until then. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do we do then? Oh, let me correct this first for you, so you can actually see things instead of a white screen. Uh, we have Mythargia and Deadlights ready as backups for this, or we could uh, we could continue with Deadbolts. Or shall we just start a new game? Say Mistargia for our, I feel like we'd start with Deadlight and Deadbolt, it would quickly get confusing. <laughs> Probably. Okay then. Let me change up the <clears throat> the, the, the name. Miss Argia. Yep. Number one. Okay. And yeah, we'll have to e cut the recording here. So once again, we end up with three, <laughs> three recordings in the end. Mythargia, there. I, I should be surprised if we're able to finish all these games before the end of the before the start of the next month. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to look for a few more spooky games. Uh, one of those will be that uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's the a Cthulhu adventure with the cat and such. Oh yeah, definitely we're gonna stream that. That one is not it's definitely streamable. Yours is not as short as short as the other ones here. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Pardon? Yeah, I only remember it, only remember loving it. <laughs> okay. But for now then, uh, yeah, anyone who is just here watching for Whispering Willows, we're ending with a lot of really short recordings with this <laughs> this week. Uh, yeah, everyone who is here for Whispering Willows, thank you for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead sequels.